Hey, how's everybody doing today? Me? I'm happy. Just got my Thrustmaster TPR rudder pedals. Anyways, I'm not going to do an unboxing, but I am going to do a video on a mod that I'm going to do to it involving putting the damper from my MFGs onto this. And I didn't buy a new damper kit. I'm using the one off my MSG, MFGs. And it d doesn't have the same adapters. It's the same size damper, but not the same size. It doesn't have the adapter, adapters at all. So I will show you a few things that I'm going to do. So I went to the shop and I basically made up my own piece that's going to get screwed down onto the back of the rudder pedals and as you can see I took it in I you know, paint came out a little messed up on the bottom but it looks darn good I've got the spaces see it pretty good I know it's not focusing in right but this is going to be the bottom part that goes to the base of the pedals I really hope that this I, I'm sure this is going to work out fine it's made of eighth inch steel so I'm really not worried at all about any flexing cracking or anything like that the one that comes with the damper when you purchase it that goes on this rudder pedal basically is 3d printed and it's carbon fiber or plastic or whatever it's made with and i'm sure it's strong enough to hold what worries me is if you hit it against something moving the pedals or moving your frame it will crack those things do crack and then you have to buy a replacement, which is almost impossible without having to buy a whole new damper all over again. Let's take a look at the damper. Okay, so this is the damper right there. And the front part where the arm extends out and screws into the MFGs is the piece that's going to go to the bottom part of the damper. Uh, I'm sorry, the bottom part of the foot pedals. It's this back piece right here that I am trying to design something that I there is a place where I can put it right through a bolt and just put a spacer but I'm thinking maybe just to try doing something a little different if and I don't like the way it comes out then I'm gonna do it this way I'm just gonna go directly into the to, to the pivot pedals the MFGs my buddy that I played DCS with he wanted them so instead of him buying a brand new pair which these are basically brand new and these are the v3s they don't need nothing but being plugged in they're plug and play you don't have to do anything else with them calibrate in anything other than just put them in the game and they work i'm psyched i'm going to pull this out of the box and um put the parts out and i don't know if i got time today i gotta go to work but yeah Let's get to work on it. One quick thing I want to throw in before I start this video is I want to give a special thanks. Box3 Solutions for hosting my DCS World game. The owner of the company is a gentleman that I've dealt with. I don't know if he has a partner, but his name is, he goes by the name of Luck. I am so impressed with the service. I, I got my own small server to start out with because I just want to be able to play in private and it it was a game changer for me to be able to go in and and have a great ping and privacy with me and a friend or two or, or however it works out to be able to go in and, and and just have a peace of mind of having my own service so if you're interested i highly recommend check out fox 3 you cannot go wrong they spec they specialize in only and nothing else but hosting dcs world including steam version as well as the ED version. It doesn't matter. You can host either or. They're just great people to work with. Okay, so everything's unboxed. And I was saying to myself, why does this camera look so bloody blurry, man? Everything looks out of focus. And then lo and behold, I forgot. I had the wrong glasses on. Now it's nice and clear. Okay, so the packaging, outstanding. Everything's nice. Everything's metal. It probably weighs around, I think, close to 17 pounds. One of the first things I was looking at that I got a little nervous on was this thing because I didn't see where the screws were. I didn't have no package. And then I noticed they were already on the pedals. They're screwed in about halfway. So 
that cured that panic attack and everything looks really really nice I guess these look up like, these look like they're aluminum probably aluminum and the rest of it looks like it's steel so around the back what I was talking about the mod that I was going to do first we'll look at everything everything's nice and snug there's no play you can see where the power cables all come pre-attached and whoop, it's kind of weird and left right okay again it uses a standard USB I'm not sure what this plug is called the USB I don't know this I know the a I think that might be a B maybe a D who knows so the way this is going to work with the damp this way I have some adjustment room to put this I might not even need to use the spacer so we can get a nice clear shot of it once again this is all handmade and this was the part that I was a little bit concerned about the piece that you buy online has like a two-piece that goes over this and the damper runs to that but this is really long I was I'm gonna look at work if there's a way I can make something modify it but the original one that came with the metal damper attachment went to this and all you really have to do is get a screw about the same size put it through there attach the damper and you're off and running all the damper does on this is keeps stops the, well see there's not a lot of pressure on the springs right now it has two springs and i also have some really heavy duty ones that i can throw on there that are like insanely thicker than that probably won't need them with the damper and all that really does is take the bounce out of it slows it down a bit from when it collapses back in basically like this without it i noticed online when people let go you can see the bing 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 back and forth i know bing 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 so yeah so the same thing with the mfg rudder pedals once i put the damper on everything slid right back in nice so this is where this is going to go down over here the rod is going to go up and either to an attachment here or here doesn't matter either way i'm just thinking it might be easy just to put something right through there that's the way the old school was and i don't think it'll make much of a difference as long as the spring's not in there so once i get that done folks we'll be back hey, here we are friday morning thank god for friday i have the pedals pretty much all put together just one bolt over there i did a little adjustment and i wanted to show you the back part we'll spin it around and take a look at the damper i put on next part of the video i'll give a little input on how it calibrates and feels compared to the mfgs okay we're back and i'm done so as you can see my mod worked out pretty good i might change a couple little things on it as far as the brackets go but i'm pretty happy with the way everything is it works fine it's smooth the whole idea of putting a damper on is when you release you don't get any any type of flexing or bouncing back and forth when you just right now it's on the lightest setting it can go so that's basically it there's not much of a movement maybe a couple inches same goes for the brakes i noticed that the brakes seem to stop a little bit a little bit more stopping power with the brakes than i had with the mfg and that's probably something to do with it's got something to do with as far as maybe the way i configured the mfg i when i pressed down on the brakes it didn't stop as sharp <laughs> with this when i hit the brakes it's like the the nose like boop comes right down so like i said more than likely it's not the other rudders it's the way i had it configured yeah so left and right Uh, we're looking at a couple inches and probably around two two and a half inches with the brakes so all in all came out great very happy with it i'm gonna wrap this video up. i was getting it, um the app going configuring it that's a breeze you, you just download the drivers 
if it's on PC, you do not use the target software from Thrustmaster. There's no need for that. And there's just the configuration software. Basically, that's self-explanatory. You use your brakes. You set your rudder. You put apply. And you shut the program down and you're ready to go. That simple. So all in all, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps someone out. Maybe gives a couple ideas. And I'm going to go off and fly. Everybody, take care and see you on the next one. Peace.